Hey, hey, how are you today? Dolly Denson here. Um, I know I have a, new, a few new people on my page, so if you don't know me, that's who I am. Um, I wanted to come on for a second because I am making some butternut squash. I'm getting ready to roast it in the oven. And I know if you have been on my page for a while, you've heard me talk about it because butternut squash was one of the first times that I really went outside of my comfort zone and ate um, a vegetable that I used to refuse to eat. So if you're new to following my page, you may not know this, but I am a picky eater and I used to be a veggie hater and it has taken time for me to get into the routine. Hey Robin, how are you? To get into the routine of eating vegetables. But um, the reason that I'm so passionate about eating vegetables now and really um, having a healthy diet is because it does matter what you eat and it makes a huge difference in how you feel. But I'm making butternut squash and I wanted to share with y'all how I do it. Um, and then tell you a few things about it. So I have um, just cubed butternut squash in here. I actually buy it from the store that way. Um, you can, you know, you if you don't have that available, buy a butternut squash, um, not cut up, and then um, you can like poke it with uh, a fork, nuke it in the microwave for a short period of time, and then that makes it easier to cut up. The time that I cut it up, like, you know, old school, cut it up, didn't buy it at the store, already cut up. Um, I think I wasted more of the squash trying to cut it up and get the seeds out and all of that stuff. So now it doesn't cost very much more for me to buy the cut up kind. So if I can, I buy the cut up kind just to save me a little bit of time right there with meal prep. Um, and I do that with a couple of different things. So if you have that available at your store and you can spend a few extra cents on it, it definitely will cut down on your meal prep time because cutting up that squash was like a pain in the butt. But I have the cut up squash and I just put salt, pepper, and cinnamon. I like to put a lot of cinnamon. Um, hey Jackie, how are you? And then um, I sprinkle it with olive oil. So um, one of the programs that I've mentioned recently is a mindset nutrition program. And that program is all about just kind of learning how to reframe how you think about eating. And one of the things that she talks about is what she calls accessories. So accessories are those extra things that you put on things to make them, you know, have more flavor and more taste. And she doesn't say to not have those things. We have to have food that tastes good. I mean, I would not eat this if it did not taste good. <laughs> Um, but it's in it's um, finding a, a healthy amount so I think a lot of times we have good intentions when we eat food you know you're like okay I'm gonna eat this salad I'm eating out but I'm eating this salad so it's gonna be okay but then it is doused in some type of high fat salad dressing um, or even the less fat ones but way too much of it and it may have a bunch of extra things added on to it. So it does matter the accessories for taste, but you need to also um, try to track what you're putting on here. So like measure it and try to not go overboard with it because um, too much of a good thing is not good as well. Hi Kelly, how are you? Um, so I just wanted to share that because she talks about specifically about butternut squash in the program. Um, and that she loves it, but she finds that, uh, and loves making it like this, but she finds that a lot of people just really kind of douse the olive oil on it. And then it's not as healthy if you have, or you know, some other type of oil or dressing or something, and it's not as healthy, it's adding extra calories that you don't necessarily want. Um, so you have to kind of try to find that happy medium with whatever it is that you're cooking. Another thing to note is that the olive oil, when you roast it, this is something new I learned, so I just have to share this with you, because I was just talking to my daughter about it. Um, when you roast olive oil, when you when you um, deep fry anything or you roast anything, if you have all if you have oil on it, it has what's called a smoke point, and the smoke point is the point at which it gets to a certain temperature, and then it becomes unstable. So for that's why frying foods is um, kind of like not the best way to eat foods. Number one, because it destroys all the nutrients in that food by frying it at such a high temperature. But the other thing is that certain types of oils are less stable. Um, even if they have a higher smoke point, they'll be less stable, like canola oil and some of those oils, um, when you reach that point. And so they have started to link that with cancer. And not necessarily like causing cancer, but cause putting things into your body that can lead to the cascade of causing cancer in your body. Um, so I never knew that, and I cooked with canola oil for the longest time, but now I try to use olive oil, 
and there's different types of olive oil. The extra virgin olive oil has the lowest smoke point. Um, and I can't remember, don't quote me, I can't believe, um, I mean, I can't remember what the smoke point is, but I try to keep it at like 325 to 350 and cook it for longer, so like for 45 minutes. When I have put it in the oven at like 425, it truly comes out smoking. <laughs> so it's like reached its smoke point. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. It's an accessory, it's not something you have to get rid of, um, but try to keep it at a lower temperature. And that's with roasting any vegetables. Um, you wanna keep it at a lower temperature for a longer period of time if you have some type of oil on there. And um, the type of oil changes the flavor of it too. So normally I don't use the extra virgin olive oil, I just use regular olive oil, but it looks like we're out of our other olive oil because I can't find it anywhere. My teens have been cooking, my 20 year old has been cooking um, different things and it's been wonderful because I haven't had to cook every evening but one of the things um, that I found is some stuff's running out and I'm not aware of it so we need to start making a list for groceries I guess so anyways I hope that's helpful for you um, feel free to share whatever it is that you like and how you prepare it but be mindful of that when you make things that the accessories you add on them matter and those are the things that can sink whatever it is that you're eating you know like I grew up eating broccoli drowned in cheese um, and and cooked to the point where it had no flavor or it's kind of had a bitter flavor and so that was one of the things that started me on the path of not liking any vegetables so if you can kind of tweak how you're making them to keep the flavor in to keep the nutrients in and not add on a bunch of fatty extra stuff then um, that's a good thing okay so y'all have a fabulous day i have been in a funk when it relates to meal prepping and coming on here live and all of that stuff uh, there's just been so much going on in my world and the kids being home for summer and all of that stuff So I'm hoping to kind of get back to this more So feel free to message me and let me know what things you're interested in seeing more about if you have some tips or whatever that you'd like to share Then I'd love to hear them. Okay, so y'all have a great night. Talk to you soon